Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this demo I'm going to show you demonstration of a REST API project uh, with uh, Spring Boot. So we have created some APIs and this this is about the train, train booking uh, ticket, train ticket bookings application and for that we have created a backend into the script Spring Boot. So for the technology files it's using uh, Spring Boot and JPA to manage the backend and it's JWT authentication is available over there to create a authentication key and it's following MBC architectures you can see the entities models controllers and configuration and the Spring Boot file is over there and it's a Maven project so we are managing the form.xml here to handle the backend data it's using database it has these tables and this table is storing data here and to run the APIs we are using Postman over there so uh, let's run the application quickly and check what features and functionality it's working also i want to make down um, like uh, mark down here if you need the source code you can connect us over the email whatsapp or uh, uh, directly you can connect over the whatsapp email or skype so on uh, also don't worry about the configuration and setup we'll do the configuration and after the configuration you need to follow this video to uh, operate the application call the apis and generate the outputs over there and you can uh, just connect to the support so they will share the price details and the services that we are providing here okay so to in order to run the application this is your runner class right click on it go to run as run it as a java application a spring boot will start the server and it will start a server on a specific port number that is done that is configured into application.property and i guess it's 9091 and here now we need to do that our server is running it means the backend is running so how can we call the APIs how can we pass the data so for that we have to move here into our REST APIs so if this is the collection in this collection we have a multiple API one API to register the user login and get authentication key and add train train list update train delete train search the train list and check available, available seats book a train ticket uh, get booking list cancel booking and book by user booking by is you by by a specific user so the very first the registration uh, api is free by authentication so it will not require any authentication key because the registration is free process like it doesn't need any login process so i'm going to do uh, to register as a new user entry we can send this request so how can we do this just click on it and go here and check it's using proper port number api and this is our api called registration under the body we need to pass the data that we want to insert into the database so let's suppose i'm going to enter a random data as a new user and this is my username this is my password and let's keep it like this and currently into the user table we have these data three records are there and if I send the request, I have sent it this request. You can see the new edit record is available here as a response. So this is the response. And here, if I refresh the table, I can see the newly added data over there. Now, <clears throat> the next thing is login. So how can I log in here? So first, I will show you by login as an admin, and then we'll see the user roles. Okay. So first thing, uh, get authentication key. So here. To run this api we need to enter the username and password so i'm going to enter the username password for the admin user so this is my okay where's the username okay this is my username for the admin and so i just enter admin and the password is also same admin so i enter again the same password i hit the same button so this will allow me to log in into the application and it will generate a authentication key to me by using this token i can access other apis that is available over there so if let's suppose i want to try to access this uh a uh, train token apis it will give me a error if like, like the user is unauthorized okay so uh, how can i add this token so i have generated the token i just copy this token from here i just go to the api add train api go to the authentication authorization here I have select the variable token in this column I can in this box I can share my key my token and now if I send this request I can send this request but for that I just need to make some changes like 
I'm adding this uh, train number and let's add this some random data and let's keep a price 600 the train should be in the auto Bhopal okay that's fine number of seat hundred that's fine so now if I send it yeah train is send it the data like that API is working so it send it the data into the database and responding as a response as a uh, responded as a uh like uh, response here the same data that is added with her id so if i go to the train uh here and i check the new lead train is added over there also uh, it's using such kind of validation so if i send this request again it will give me access like the train is already exists so every time you need to make sure you are entering the unique train number here this api will use to get the train list but again if i access it directly it will give me an error un unauthorized so what i need to do i just need to log in uh, like this key i need to remember this key and you you don't need to like uh, send the request or generate a key every time uh, once you have generated for a single session you can use it the same key so and that other other apis also i will use the same so here I can check the list of uh, all the trains available by using this trends API. So this is available trends in my database. I can update the train. So how can I update the train? So uh, here, let's suppose I want to update the train of uh, train 18, train ID that is ID is 18. And I want to update uh, its price as a 1000. So let's suppose I just enter the update some data here and let's say the train ticket should be uh, currently it's 600 so i'm going to make it 1000 and again what i need to do i need to add the barrier token over there so i just added new barrier token i send the request you can see the price is updated even if i refresh my database it will display the price is 1000 and similarly i can delete any train so how can i delete first thing i need to add the variable token so i just added the variable token and here i need to pass the id of the train that i want to delete let's suppose i want to delete the train number 15 train id which which the train which have an id as a 15 i want delete it and it will say uh, that is deleted and remaining uh is showing here as a response in a json format so train number 15 should be gone now so it's gone and uh, in the search train i need to pass the train that i want to search from location to to location but before that i again i need to add the variable token to access this and here <coughs> it's showing me only train only data that the trains tra only data of the train that is available between that is running between indo to hopa check availability list let's suppose i want to check the list of available seats in train number 18 or 3 so it's showing me like this it has 83 seats and if i change it like this 15 and 15 is not available let's say 18 and it's showing 100 book a train ticket so here uh, how can i book a train ticket first i'm going to update my barrier token and that i've generated and after that uh, into body section i need to pass some ids so train on which train i want to book a ticket like each train have a unique id here so let's suppose i want to book some tickets from this 18 number of train and for which user i want to add it so i need to copy the user id as well so let's suppose we have a user as a 17 for the 17 id user i want to update so i just added id as a 17 number of ticket is 5 so currently in this train we have 100 uh, seats available out of 100 i'm going to book the 5 and i just send the request the ticket is successfully booked now if i refresh this table it will remaining ticket is 95 and the ticket is booked successfully here i can check the list booking list okay i need to again copy this so what i'm going to do here into the booking list i'm going to copy paste it i'm going to send the request i can check the detail here the response all the booking list recently we have one booking of the train number 18 by the user into the booking table also we can say this check the same data that is reflected reflected here 
also we have a, a, like a status as a booked or cancelled so we can uh, check the list of booking like here in the gate booking detail another api says to cancel the booking so let's suppose i want to book cancel any booking so here we are managing when the booking table for each trend we have a id unique id so let's suppose i want to cancel the booking of this 19 or 16 let's suppose i want to book cancel the 16 so i just send the id send the request booking cancel successfully if i refresh the database it will show me a status as a cancel the last api we have to book by a user so let's suppose recently we have done by booking by this user that have an id as a 17 so let's check the booking history we can do it uh, by changing this id so what is the id at 17 okay it's 17 here uh, when i send the request it will give me history of booking of that particular user so it's complete uh, demonstration of the api running we are handling complete uh, like uh, authentication and all the things that is required for a standard project and a standard project you, if you want you can take this source code also i want to mark out some points here uh, for the roles so currently we are logging as an admin so admin only have access to uh, uh, like uh, access these apis like at train edit train if there will be a, another user or the front end user customer customer will not allow to access these apis so how can you check this so while i'm logging here currently the username password is for admin so i'm just going to log and log in by user uh, and let's suppose the username is this and the password is this for the user for this user now i just send the request and data session so this is my new id so now <clears throat> now if i want to access any other user now i'm going to close all this uh, other api that is running other tabs don't save don't save don't save okay now if i want to get the trend list it will says unauthorized okay so even if i added the token over there it will not allow it should not allow me to go and okay it's showing me a test user yeah we can use this test user as well the record is also available into the database so this is the user only and by this user even if i add the barrier token over there it will it should not allow to access that data that i'm using uh, okay let me refresh the server i guess just i'm going to restart the application again and let's generate a new token i've just restarted the server i generate a new token for the new user <coughs> that is my end user and for this user if it i will try to access this it will it should not allow i guess okay see uh it's 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 allowed to get the train list but i think customer should not add uh okay customer can check the list that is a valid point uh we were operating a wrong api and here a uh, customer cannot add the trains okay so if uh, i i currently here i have logged in as a user as a customer and this is my token id so even if i uh add the correct token id over here after this as well it will give me a forbidden it means it doesn't have access similarly we i can access uh, to update token as well again it will give unauthorized so let's edit the token the correct token that we have generated and after this also it will give us a forbidden so for the delete operation also not allowed to use it and how we are managing this thing so you can edit the checks over there under the configuration uh, here JWT my security configuration and the my security configuration 
okay you can edit the like these apis the token registration uh, have all the permissions but a train update train and delete train doesn't have access of the user only have access for the admin so these things we are managing here so in case you need the source code you can connect us and you can take the project and don't worry about the configuration uh, we'll do the setup and after the setup uh, it will work same as always in this demo only thank you